How's it going guys? This is Chronic Rush and welcome to episode 6 of my 515 Road to France. Welcome back guys and uh, I haven't uploaded as many videos as I wanted this week due to the fact that EA servers were being absolutely shoddy. I couldn't get into any games whatsoever and um, nothing was working. Eventually I did start playing some games and this is what you're going to be seeing on the screen now. But um, this series is going well so far. Really, really appreciate all the likes, all the support and everything on the videos I've uploaded so far. Episode 6, hopefully should be a good one. As you can see there, we have moved on to the gold non-rare players. What this series is all about is traditional road to gold with my own slight twist on it. I'll start off with a silver non-rare base standard squad. Go and check out episode 1 for that French squad. Then depending on the victories, or, sorry, the results of the games I play in the episodes will depend on whether I can upgrade or downgrade a player. If I obviously win, I get to upgrade and if I lose, I downgrade and I cannot downgrade any further than a silver non-rare card. So in theory, if we lose a game, we can downgrade today. But as you can see, we are looking to pick up a new CDM under the name of Morgan Schneiderlin, the Southampton CDM, 80 rated, I believe, and he's going to be a very, very good fit in the team. I've used him before and he's a fantastic player. And then we come against this um, Netherlands squad with the likes of informed players such as Schneider and Affelai, um, Van Persie and Will Naldum up front, Leroy Fair, Blind, um, and um, you've got some very, very solid players in that squad. And um, I've been playing well so far. I've only think I've picked up one loss or maybe two losses with this team. And it seems to be doing very, very well. And we get into a cracking start one minute in um, with our recently picked up striker, I do believe. He's been bang banging in goals left, right and centre. Really, really good striker indeed. I think his name is Bafoma or um, Thiavi. I'm not too sure. Um, he has both names in terms of on the game. Um, um, on the back of his kit, it's Thiavi. And in his game name, it is Bafoma, I think. Something like that. But um, we've got Mamouva on the ball here with um, an audacious attempt. And the keeper just passed. Arms that into the back of the net. I'm not going to complain against that at all. That makes it 2-0 there. And uh, this game was breezing through. He wasn't providing too much challenges. Fuck knows what goes on there. And again, and that ball eventually trickles into the back of the net. Um, it is almost as if my keeper did a rainbow flick on the floor for that ball to fly up in the air. Uh, but uh, he made that 2-1 there. And um, I believe at this stage, I'm not too sure if he was playing or he just, I don't know, stopped playing or something. Um, we eventually get to the box and Nong Zobia just puts it past his keeper to make sure we do pick up the win. He's not going to pick up a 90th goal minute goal there. And uh, we end up winning 3-1, as you can see there. I have more possession and more shots on target so probably deserved that victory but still he still had a um, very challenging squad and I did quite well so um, that means we can go and upgrade from Gwila Voglu um, one of our CDMs from Wolfsburg to Morgan Schneiderlin um, like I said guys I'm going to be upgrading players depending on if I win the games. Um, I started off with a silver non-rare squad, went on to a silver rare squad. Um, and as you can see there, we're moving into some of the gold non-rare players before I can move on to the gold rare squad. And maybe some informs a bit later on in the series. But as you can see from the record on the side, we played 16 games, won 15 and only lost one, which is a fantastic record indeed. And I'm pretty happy about it, especially coming, I'm playing in seasons. No like um, uh, single matches or cups or anything, it's just seasons. So I'm using my silver team against some good goal teams and um, I am coming against some very very strong teams I know the team maybe in a future episode is a fantastic team and it is a very very good game indeed to watch guys uh, but um, as you can see the next player we're going to go for is another cam it's going to be Glenier to swap out Ezrik Ezrik is probably one of the longest serving players we have in the team other than the goalkeeper and um, I think it's time to Give him a bit of a break, bring in a new player and see if we can um, change it up a bit. Especially in the new formation, I changed it up to the four treble two. Um, I thought Grenier would be a good choice out in that cam spot. But we come against this Bundesliga team here uh, with an interesting left back. But um, still, he's got a Mobley up front, um, Son and Farfan Kagawa. Um, I think that is Bender and Jabi Alonso with Felipe Santana and Matip. Two very, very good centre-backs uh, with Lino in goal. Another very good keeper indeed as well. Uh, but we move into the 21st minute here and he works his way and um, he ends up picking up a free kick here on the edge of the box. Um, I, didn't, I was pretty frustrated about that because I didn't think there was much in that at all but um, Shabby Alonso is going to get on this and it lagged just there so my wall, in my opinion I didn't feel like my wall jumped enough what I wanted them to and um, he puts that in but still a very very good free kick him gives him the 1-0 lead but straight after that in the 23rd minute um, I worked down the field with the Cissé sorry and a fantastic finish indeed from him uh, to go and make that 1-1 we then pick the ball up in their half here and um, Charles Nonzombie doing some nice work uh, just waiting for the challenges to come in riding the challenges finding some space and look at that for a fantastic finish near post and uh, that's a very very good finish indeed to go and make that 2-1 and then just before half time here over the top ball fuck 
fucking hell, that's some shit defending there by myself. And uh, Kagawa is going to go and put that into the back of the net to go and make that 2-2. And then moving to the 15 minutes, second half here, Charles and Zombie gets some into the box and has a shot, palms out in to the path of Thierry. He's going to put that into the back of the net to go and make that 3. And then moving to the 81st minute, again, some absolutely shocking defending from myself. I'm not sure why my keeper out. I never bring my keepers out in corners, uh, but um, that... Header to the near post, really, really should have done, uh, been saved at least, and uh, that made it 3-3, and then he just steams into the box in the 90th minute, I didn't want to foul him, didn't want to give him the penalty, didn't think, I, I thought I did enough, maybe just to show him out to the corner, uh, but he finesses it around my keeper, makes that 4-3 victory, that means we're going to downgrade the first ever player in this series, and that's going to add another loss to our record, um, it was a very, very frustrating game in the sense that um, I, I was leading, um, and um, then losing goals, conceding stupid goals, defensive errors, and I think this was my first game on for the day, hence the reason it probably wasn't the best played, but um, as you can see there, we're actually going to downgrade um, Ezeric uh, to, um, I think it's Cavalli, one of the gold, I'm um, sorry, silver non-red players we had at the very, very start, he's got a very, very good long shot, uh, but... Um, I put him out of the team for a reason. I put him, took him out quite early on, I think, as well. Uh, but uh, we're just going to have to see how he performs. We're going to have to go and put um, fix up Schneider then with an injury card. And uh, we're going to get straight into the third and final game of this episode. Hopefully we don't... The team wasn't performing very well last episode. Uh, sorry, last episode, last game. Or it was myself, but um, it just wasn't going well. It's nothing was happening. So hopefully we can try and turn things around here. Um, get back onto where we were. But so we come against this BPL squad here. Shane Long, Eto, Morales, Coutinho, Schürrle, Matic, Vertonghen, Sacco, uh, Debushi, Moreno and De Gea in goal. Uh, so a very, very nice, solid BPL team. De Gea, I hate in goal as well. I never seem to be able to get around him. Uh, but um, here, fantastic ball from Cavalli, the play we just put in the squad. And Cissé with another fantastic finish. He's got some fantastic finishing on it in indeed, to go and make that 1-0 there. They move all the way into the 69th minute, nothing can happen, and then just out the split second, two passes, makes a Bamiyan go on through, and my keeper was just too slow. I was expecting my keeper to maybe just take him out at least, uh, but still, um, that made it 1-1. We then get a free kick in a very, very nice position indeed. I decided to go and put Charles Nunzobi on with his left foot, got some very, very good free kick stats on as well, and uh, look at this for a fantastic free kick. Um, very, very good free kick indeed. I was pretty happy about that. I was celebrating that up off my chair screaming out loud and then straight from kickoff what the fuck is just gone on there the controllers were being thrown at that moment um, and that made it 2-2 in the 90 minute and then he gets a free kick and Sherlock we end up losing the game at 3-2 there with a very very good free kick indeed but um it was just one of their games where it just was so frustrating to end up losing. I thought I had secured it, especially for that very, very nice free kick to go and make it 2-1. But then he picked up two goals in the 90th minute. As you can see there, yes, I had more possession, but he had a lot more shots on target than me. Uh, but still, it was just a very, very frustrating game to play. I thought, I, st I just thought I could have edged out with the win. But um, that means we're not going to downgrade. Obviously, we went for Elzerick, and we cannot downgrade any further than that silver non-rare card. Um, so we're just going to keep him in, see if we can pick up Elzerick in the next episode, guys. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But guys, this comes was the end of the episode. Let us know, remember, that like button. Also, remember, subscribe, stay tuned, series, and any feedback in the comments will be much shared. Appreciate it, guys. This has been Grush. Till next time, adios.